mathematicians, this is Miss Preston. Today our lesson is going to be on creating and naming equal parts. For this lesson, you are going to need six squares of paper. I am just using a Hannaford bag because that's what I have. If you already know how to make squares, go ahead and skip ahead. If not, I would like you to watch. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're just going to fold in this um, piece of paper so that it has a nice right angle and you're just gonna cut around it straight then you have a perfect square you're gonna need to do that five more times now that you have your six squares you're just gonna take two of them and we are going to turn these um, squares into two halves or we're gonna fold them in half so go ahead and try to see if you can fold them into two parts that are equal equal means the same so one way we could do this is by folding it in half this way so we're gonna match up those corners and we're gonna fold it in half that way see how this piece is exactly the same as this piece. So that would be one way to fold this paper in half. The other way we could do it is what we've already done. We can fold this, we can match this triangle with this triangle, and we have two pieces that are equal. Now, what are the names for these pieces, these equal shares. Well, one of these equal shares would be called a half. You could also write it like one half. You could also write it one half. You could write it one out of two because it's one piece out of two, or you could write it one over two, one half. Now, if you're talking about both of these pieces, then both of these pieces would be two halves, or two halves, or two out of two, because you have two pieces out of two pieces, or it's the whole thing. So this would also be called the whole, and you could write it like two out of two. Same thing for the pieces over here, they would be go by the same names because they're both halves as well. Now we're gonna move on to force. We're gonna actually need three squares for this. So here are my three squares. Now see if you can figure out a way to fold these so that you have four equal parts. All right, these are all ways to fold this shape into four equal parts. These all are the same, they match. These all are the same and these all are the same. All right, so how would we label one of these pieces? Well, one of these pieces is one fourth or one out of four. So we could write it like one fourth. We could write it like one fourth. Now, fourths are kind of special because there's another name for them. You can also call them quarters. Just like four quarters of coins make up a dollar, four pieces um, make up a Whole. So we got one quarter, we could write, or one quarter, or one out of four, right? Because it's one piece out of all four. And how you would write that would be one over four. Now, what about if you were talking about all the pieces? So on this one, what, what if you're talking about uh, all of these? Well, we know one, two, three, four. We have four fourths, 
or we could write it for fourths or four quarters. Four quarters. We can put a little dash in between. Um, we could also write that this is four out of four because it's all four pieces out of all four of them. And that would also mean that this would be a whole. We can also write it four over four. Now our last one is going to be thirds. This is really hard to fold, so see if you can figure it out. Otherwise, I will give you a lesson. So there's no easy way to do it because folding in half is much easier than folding in thirds. So what you have to do is just approximate. So you're gonna fold this over and try to eyeball. See if you can match this side with this side. So see if you can get as even as possible, as equal as possible. So mine's not perfect, but it's almost there. But then you're gonna take this one, you can open it back up actually, and then you can take this one and push it right to the, side, the crease that you already made and fold it down. If it's not perfect, it's not perfect, it's okay. But you should have two lines so that you can see your thirds. And that's the way to make thirds. One of these pieces of your three parts is going to be called one third. You can also write it one third. You could also say it's one out of three. So it's one piece out of all three parts. That is, you can write that by going one over three or one third. If you're talking about all the parts, that means that you have three thirds or three thirds or three out of three or if you're talking about all of them, right? That means that it's a whole. And you could write it three, oops, almost wrote three out of four. Three out of three. I hope you learned something about creating and name, naming equal parts. Bye.